Um, all right, so we unfortunately do have to get to the content, which everybody is wondering about. So after my stream ended yesterday, I think, or maybe it was even during, there was an interview with none other than Magnus Carlsen about the whole situation with Hans Niemann. So we are going to start with the drama. There was also a very important podcast, which dropped last night featuring, um, Christian Chirilla and Fabiano Caruana. So we will be covering that as well. Uh, so right, we get right to the right to the news out of sync. I don't think it's out of sync. My mods can tell me if, if we're out of sync, but I don't think we are right. Are, are we out of sync? I don't think we are. Um, mods can tell me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. No, we're not out of sync. So, okay. Um, let's, let, let's, let's get to it. Nice haircut, by the way. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, all right, here we go. Let's jump into the content immediately. Let me, um, let me change the scene and away we go. Uh, where, where was, where was, there we go. All right, you guys. So we're going to start with the content. Obviously, I guess I will put chat on here as well. Um, one second, let me put chat somewhere. Uh, I guess I'll put chat right here above me, maybe like right here. This, this should be fine. Um, let's get right to the content. So of course, Magnus gave a, Magnus Carlson gave an interview yesterday after, um, after his match, uh, after the final round, he played in the qualifiers and he did talk about, um, a lot of different things. So without further ado, let's jump, uh, let's jump right into the news. Everybody, here we go. And we're joined by Magnus Carlson. Hi, Magnus. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> so, so how do you feel chat. after one making second, it through? Let, let me move the chat. On this one, it doesn't belong there. Um, uh, for this one, let me move it. Let's put chat right down here. For this one, let's put chat here. Okay, there we go. Um, all right. So for this one, let's go. Here we go. With a record score of 34 in the preliminaries. Yeah, it was uh, was a very good. Uh, score was, I think. Uh, um, Taking you know taking the uh, position and so on uh, into to account, it was on par with some of my best uh, best ever uh, rapid round robin events. So wow. that was um, that was very good. Uh, I feel like um, the quality of um, my games perhaps uh, dipped a little bit um, the last couple today, but overall uh, it was very good. All right. Mm -hmm. And um, you do it even with uh, losing three points to Hans Niemann with uh, drawing from that game. I think the whole world is wondering, Magnus, what was the reason you uh, withdrew from that game? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I cannot um, cannot uh, particularly speak on uh, on uh, on that. Uh, but uh, you know, people can draw their own conclusion and um, they uh, certainly uh, certainly have uh, and um, have to say I'm uh, very impressed by uh, Neiman's uh, play uh, and uh, I think uh, his mentor Maxime Bluge must be doing uh, a great uh, a great job all right, so before we go any further with this, you guys, you hear Magnus name drop Maxime Delugi. Now, this is where this is where the plot thickens considerably. Now, as we know, as look looking looking forward, or as, as we know now, uh, Max Hans Neiman did go to Max Delugi's um, academy in New York City for for a short while. Um, so they did work together. Whether they still work together, who knows what the situation is. Um, now, one thing that's very important to note here, and I cannot stress this enough, is that. Um, so, so some many people have been putting out content content on what's been going on now. Levy yesterday said that, or yet it seems like Levy was unaware of the reason that Magnus name dropped a loogie. Now, whether whether you like it or not, the, the there is a very clear fact in terms of why Magnus name dropped name dropped Delugi. The reason that he name dropped Delugi's name is that Delugi um was caught, I believe, according to chess.com, um, in a couple of title twos. His grandmaster Benjamin Bach did a video on this. I think he said that Deluga had been caught in two different title Tuesdays, having had perfect scores. I know one of uh one of one of my editors actually put out a video on on um my clips channel. So um so th this is not something that is uh this is not something that is unknown it is very clear why Magnus is, is name dropping Delugi. There is no doubt in anybody's mind. Um, now, of course, again, like I said, like I I'm sure Levy was unaware of it. I think there are probably other people who aren't aware either. But the re but the reality is that the reason he name dropped is because Delugi has been caught 
um, doing something wrong in ver in um, entitled Tuesday tournaments on chess.com. So that is the, the reason that he name, drop, name drops it. And now I would also add, it's very, very clear. I would say 99.99999% certainty why Magnus dropped out of Sinkfield Cup. Now, we were already very sure when he chose not to play the game against Hans the other day. Uh, but now that it's all but certain. There is no doubt in anybody's mind in terms of why Magnus, um, why Magnus withdrew, to be very clear. So let's keep going. Okay. Uh, can you confirm or not confirm that it has to do with um, suspecting him of cheating? I will not comment on that. Okay. It's been a dramatic time for chess and, of course, uh, a special two weeks for you as well, also after Sinkfield Cup. How are you doing in all of this? I'm okay. Just, you know. By the way, actually, no, let's keep going. I'll pause living, in a second. Living my life uh, and uh, trying to do well in the um in the tournaments i mean people people who know me and followed for instance the tournament in in zagreb in 2019 know that i can uh, sort of uh, shut things up when, when i play so that's now one thing that i have to add here as well that's kind of kind of crazy i'll, I'll give some context um you know I, this of course is not the first time i've seen this video now fabiano which we're watching, watching later i have not watched um but in terms of this, I have, I have, um, I have, wa I did watch parts of this yesterday. So, like, for some context, when Magnus was referring to Zagreb in 2019 during the during the Grand Chester event in July of 2019, he was playing it. There was this very big drama re regarding his, the chess club offer spill, I believe it was in Norway, and they were trying to they were trying to partner, I believe, with a gambling website, and so all this stuff was going on in Norway. And meanwhile, Magnus was crushing it in the Grand Chester event in Zagreb. So that's what, um, that's what. Magnus is referring to when he says he can shut it out. Now, the thing here that is really amazing to me in all of this is how unfazed Magnus is. Again, I'm not some like, I'm not somewhat psychotherapist, psychoanalyst, whatever you want to call it. Um, we will get to Fabiano stuff later. We, we will get to that next. But the thing that is so shocking is the way he's so nonchalant about it. Now, you know, if this was someone who has no social media presence, things of this nature, I, I would basically, you know, I, I would like be like, okay, it's very clear they haven't looked at anything. This is Magnus Carlsen, the world champion, someone who's very in tune with social media and everything that's going on. And the way that he is, uh, the way that he's just so nonchalant about it makes me feel like there's there there definitely is more much more to it. And he feels very, very good about the position, uh, position now, I'm sorry to use chess terms, but he feels he feels pretty confident with where he's at. That's that's what I would say because it's, it, it, I would have expected this to have more of an impact on him. Um, and meanwhile, he just, he seems very nonchalant to me. And of course, after the game against Hans, he went on to win a great game against, um, Levon Aronian. So I, I'm actually very, 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 uh, very, very, um, surprised by the general demeanor that he has. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. And with a performance rating actually now uh, of 29, 39 in the preliminaries, how are you able to, to stay so focused and just play some of your best chess? Well, I'm, I'm uh, you know, happy to, to play chess. That usually makes me, makes me happy. And um, I, as I said, um, I, have, I have a lot of experience and generally it makes me, uh, makes me uh, adaptable, um, but um, you know the um, the score in the preliminaries is uh, is it's nice, but uh, now I'm facing a very strong opponent already in the um, in the quarters, so uh, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily mean anything at this point. Okay, so someone in chat, I know that's a troll. Johnny Baker says, "See, Carl, it's really sad that all you do is praise Magnus while he always bullies you." That's uh, an interesting take, um, and quite far from the truth. So let's keep going. Uh huh. And uh, Magnus, you, you mentioned um, uh, a name there. I think maybe a trainer of Hans uh, Niemann that he's doing um, a good job. Um, can you say some more about that? Is is that because you think he's helping Hans? I haven't seen this in part. the games. <laughs> no, I will not say anything more uh, about uh, about that subject. Will you at some point <laughs> make a comment on all the fuss that is going on? 
Uh, yeah, I hope to hope to say a little bit more after uh, after the tournaments. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'll ask you very in general, Magnus, because the whole world, uh, the whole chess world, the whole world actually is talking about cheating these days. Is in general cheating a problem in chess? Do you think? Uh, I think um, individual people will answer the question. Um, Pretty, um, you know, differently depending on their on their own on their own uh, experiences. Um, but um, um, I mean, regardless of whether it's it's a massive problem or not, um, it's um, I think fairly uh, fairly easy to um, to to cheat and on general. You know, um, on a general basis, I think that um, uh, cheaters in the in the futures uh, in the future have to be. Um, uh, you know, uh, it, it should not be taken uh, should not be taken lightly, um, mm. neither um, online or or over the board. Okay. Mm. Do you have um, sort of a, something you urge to say to young? Players playing online who maybe are tempted to <laughs> cheat to maybe Here we go get again. my rating or for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, um, I understand. It's um, it's uh, it's tempting, but um, yeah, I would wouldn't uh, wouldn't recommend it. Okay. <laughs> is uh, organizers is FIDE is are they doing enough to um, avoid cheating and to uh, you know punish if there is a suspicion of cheating? Mm, it's hard to um, it's hard to say really. Would you like to see some more action be taken in uh, terms of cheating? Yeah, it's, it's the called. same kind of question over and uh, over again. Comment. Uh, I you know I'll probably um, say a bit more after the tournament, and uh, whether it's on um, that particular subject or something else, we just have to see. All right, uh, I'll leave it with that.